to get it all never slip through my fingers hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to a guide video on how to record lossless scaling generated fps on obs so i'm guessing you already are an obs user so i'm not gonna go through every step like how to set up the obs and the basics uh, but yeah for the video's sake uh, i will show you my settings like right now uh, the recording i am setting the using is uh, nvenc encoder uh, along with 1440p because all my videos are on 1440p uh, along with 50 mbps bitrate uh, on best quality and the gpu uh, psycho time tuning is on so this is my basic setting you can copy it or you can get your own setting uh, there are tons of guides on the internet so yeah uh, first of all uh, you will need to create a display capture like i have already created a display capture to record this display so yeah uh, you will need to do what uh, in the sources uh, you will first you need to click on the add button and then go to display capture and rename it to anything like display and click on ok then in the capture method select the dxgi and you go, if you are not using hdr you can just click on force hdr and make sure capture cursor is enabled or else your cursor won't be visible in the video so you yeah, click on ok uh, now I have created a duplicate so yeah I'm just gonna delete the one I just created because I have already a display capture enabled so after you created the display capture uh, you will need another source uh, the game capture but before that uh, run the lossless scaling in the background so yeah uh, make sure lossless scaling is running now click on add button again and then go to game capture now rename it to lossless maybe because we are going to lossless uh, record the lossless scaling with this source then click on ok Ma make sure make source is visible and click on ok and then in the mode uh, you will need to select capture specific window uh, and after that in the window tab you will need to select the lossless scaling whichever version or whichever uh, permission you are running with so select the lossless scaling and in the window match priority select the match title otherwise find window of same executable uh, and you can copy this rest of these settings uh, no need to capture the audio through this method uh, it is still in beta stage so yeah i recommend uh, recording the audio while the uh, display capture maybe or uh, some other method if you have already uh, set up so yeah after that uh, if you are playing any anti-cheat game you can use the anti-cheat compatibility hook make sure capture cursor is uh, ticked and hook rate is normal and color mode is srgb then click on ok now uh, if you have the lossless scaling behind the display capture Make sure lossless is uh, above the display capture. Okay, sorry. Uh, display uh, drag the display capture below to make the lossless scaling upwards. So you can already see I have uh, run Cyberpunk in the background. Uh, right now we have seeing seeing that uh, the FPS is currently hovering around uh, 50, 54 without the lossless scaling. Uh, so right now we are going to minimize the game, bring up the lossless and the OBS side by side. So here comes the tricky part. Uh, listen to me carefully. So you will get only 5 seconds to do this uh, if you want to record this lossless scaling app. So what you need to do is first you need to click on a scale then in the 5 second timer while the lossless scaling is kicking in you need to turn off the display capture and go back into the game. Okay so if you don't go back into the game the lossless scaling will start capturing the OBS. So yeah I just warned you now i'm gonna do it the display will get black maybe for two to three seconds because the timer will kick in and the display capture will be turned off so yeah let's uh, begin uh, so i'm gonna click on scale then turn off the display capture then go back into the game and uh, waiting a second waiting a second yeah now the game capture has kicks in uh, the lossless scaling capture like you can see at the top left corner uh, you can also see the original fps in the ms afterburner also so you can keep it or hide it uh, according to your preference uh, but uh, yeah you can see that the lossless capture is totally working fine and uh, i have selected the 3x mode so that's why my fps is boosting like uh, almost uh, 3x or uh, mm, yeah according to the lossless scaling uh, yeah it's a smooth i think you can feel the smoothness in the video too uh, so yeah uh, this is the guide without the capture card so if you do have a capture card then it's totally another story just use the capture card to recording your display and everything 
you don't need any kind of this software and this tricks okay one more thing uh, if you want to capture the only lossless scale uh, you won't need this much step uh, you can just uh, disable the display capture enable the lossless scaling go back into the game and uh, record just straight along uh, but if you want to record the uh, display like the monitor your desktop and the lossless scaling uh, you will need to alternate between these two like disable the one uh, you want to um, hide and capture the one uh, you want to uh, show and enable that uh, what do you say i button so yeah that's just an additional step which i told you so yeah i hope this video will uh, help you guys and if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue uh, you can comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys uh, next one until then uh, cheers